All right, yeah, that's probably pretty good. Uh, uh, here it is. Almost five o'clock at night, and it's dark outside already. Thank you, daylight saving. That sucks. Hating that. Because by the time I wake up and do my morning thing on my days off and get around to feeling like doing something, the day is almost shot already. So that's not helping matters any. But here's what's going on. You guys remember back, oh, I don't remember how long ago it was, but I went down and visited my mom. I took you guys with me. And, uh, well, her health is failing. And she's getting ready to go into an assisted living program. And, uh, pretty much, she's all alone. And she's going to be in assisted living, she's gonna be with people she doesn't know. She's gonna be, and we've all heard the horror stories about nursing homes and those kind of places. And, well, let's face it, you know, she did for me what I was unable to do for myself. And uh, I think it's time to turn around and repay that favor. So Pat and I talked and we're gonna make room in our home for her to come spend her her time as much of it as she can with us and we are going to do what we can for her so what we've done is we moved our bedroom because it has carpet in it into where my office was and it had hardwood floors which I like that because then my chair, my office chair would roll around. So we've emptied that room out and uh, moved all my office stuff out, moved all the bedroom stuff in there. We've uh, <coughs> excuse me. We took my entertainment room, which basically just had a TV and some plants and a couch inside the garage here and moved all my office stuff in there as well, which is actually pretty good and I like it. It's, it's roomy, it's got room for all my shelving units and my computer and my desk and all that stuff and it works out fine. Uh, we're thinking we're probably gonna have to pull a vanity out of the bathroom and replace it with a smaller one because she has one of those electric rascal up around type chairs because she's unable to walk very far. And she's told me not to do that until she gets here and we see if, in fact, she needs us to do that or not. And she'll be here in a week or two. And uh, we've made a couple trips down there and brought a couple loads of things back to lighten the load for when she actually does make the final move. And uh, our house, we, you know, we have all the furniture we need. So we brought her stuff up here. And, uh, we've got it here and it's just, you know, when she gets here, there's going to be boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff that's going to have to go in the garage until we can sort through it and figure out what to do with it all. Needless to say, a lot of things are going down in the basement, and uh, we're going to have to get rid of some of our things. She's going to have to get rid of some of her things, and uh, we're just going to have to work, pull together and work it out. But, you know, we do what we can for our moms, right? I mean, I'm blessed that she's still with us. Uh, so that's what's going on there. And anyway, between doing all that and thinking about it, and it's been stressful. Yeah, just getting my mind wrapped around it's been stressful. And it's been stressful on that too. Because, you know, it's a big lifestyle change for us. We're used to being alone. You know, we're empty nesters. Our kids are grown and on their own. And of course, Jay is staying with us now. And, uh, I won't get you that cramped. I cramped our style some too, but uh, you know we love him and we're, he's welcome here as well. So we're making do, and uh, so that's what's going on. And I think I'll probably now you get the idea. Anyway, that's what's going on. I haven't been doing any projects because I've been trying to get my mind wrapped around all that. And uh, I think I will take you inside here and show you around in my office a little bit.
enough bad word about that. Let me tell you some other things that have gone on. The, uh, a lot of things have happened where I didn't have my camera ready and I wished I had. Like just a few minutes before I started making this video, a big formation of geese flew over and they were, they were low enough. I could have, I could have picked one out of the sky with a slingshot, you know? And, uh, Oh, there's probably a dozen of them in that V-shaped formation. And uh, <laughs> funny story about that is, I heard this man say one time, he says, you know when geese are flying south and they make that V-shaped formation and one edge is always longer than the other one? He says, you know why that is? And I was like, no, why? He says, more geese. <laughs> okay. All right, makes sense. All right, but uh, what else has happened? This happened a little while ago too. And I told one friend of mine about it because it happened a week or so ago and I didn't have my camera. And he says, man, well, that doesn't make any sense. And that kind of makes me feel like, all right, I'm on the crazy train and people are gonna look at me funny when I tell them about this. But. One morning, Pat and I were sitting out here in the yard, and, but before I tell you this, let me tell you, before I tell you that, let me tell you this. We had some eagles fly by, and this one eagle, we were sitting out here, eagle flew over, same thing, low enough I could have picked it out of the sky with a slingshot, and it just flew right over, straight on top of us, like, wow. The next morning, there was three of them circling around, crying out as they do the screaming eagle thing, making their noise, and just hovering. But I didn't get my camera out in time to capture any of that. But oh, they were beautiful and making that awesome noise that they make. Uh, really wished I'd caught that on film. It was awesome. Uh, but that's back to what I was saying. So another morning, we're sitting out here, and I see these two airplanes. And they're flying from east to west, not together, but on a similar trajectory. You can tell they're gonna cross paths at some point in time. And they're not very high. They're not high enough to be making a vapor trail. but I couldn't hear them. And I was watching them and it looked like they were gonna run into each other because they were so close to the same altitude. And I was watching them and watching them and they crossed right over each other. One was going a little faster than the other one. It looked like the one that was up a little higher was going faster than the one that was a little lower. But they weren't going real fast. It was just kind of gliding, gliding by. And uh, got to thinking about it, and it didn't have any wings. I know that's why I started sounding crazy. But neither one of them had wings. Now I can see these little single prop airplanes go flying by at what seems to be the same height. And I can see their wings just fine. Even these, these Skyliners that go flying by high enough to leave vapor trails. I can see their wings. How come these things didn't have no wings? Well, a little while ago, just before I started making this video, I was standing out on the back porch over here, having a smoke. And I looked over here to the south, and I saw an airplane coming. And I noticed that it was just low enough to be hopping through the low cloud cover that was out there. And uh, I got to thinking, huh, I can't hear it. There's no vapor trail, and I can't see the wings. I said, my, this is my perfect opportunity. So I dashed back in the house, and I got the camera, and I come out through the garage here, and I grabbed the tripod, and I went right out the door to the back porch, and it's gone. And I either ducked behind some clouds, or it took me longer to do that than I thought. I don't know. But anyway, it was gone. So again, I missed the opportunity to actually catch that on camera. 
Right. I know, call me crazy. But I tell you what, after seeing that, I started looking at UFO videos, and there's been <coughs> reports from other people that have seen similar things. Just long, round tubes, no wings, floating through the sky. And, uh, well, say what you want, but I believe, I believe, man, we're not alone. Anyway, uh, what else? Izzy caught a mole out in the backyard, come brought it to me. <laughs> that was cute. Wished I had my camera ready then, too. And she killed it. It was dead. It wasn't mauled. It wasn't chewed up or mauled or anything, but it was dead. And uh, she ran out of the backyard there. What else is going on? I don't know. That's about it, I guess. Kind of get you up to speed. I've had this chainsaw sitting out here for a month waiting for me to tear into it and clean out that carburetor, see if I can get it going, and I just haven't got that far. I got, uh, we did clean out the fireplace, got all the ashes dug out of it. And while we were doing that, Jay was helping me, when I say we, Jay was helping me that day. We found this thing in the bottom there. Some of you may recognize what this is. I personally have never seen one before. It looks like it has a ceramic tile inside down in here. And these screws hold this cover plate on. And on the bottom, it says, caution, made in Taiwan. It says so right here at the bottom. It says instructions, pour one half to one inch of charcoal fluid, CO, kerosene, or maybe it says or, I don't know, or kerosene into lighter, then place underneath the grate in the fireplace. Do not use any other flammable liquid or gasoline. So it's a fire starter, which I've never seen one before. Anyway, you fill it up with uh, lighter fluid, light it up, you know, set it in there and light it. And I guess it'll burn until that fluid is all burned up. And then it will just sit there and endure the heat. It's some sort of cast metal. I don't know, pop metal or something. But it's a pretty neat deal. And also, while cleaning that out, we found that the, uh, the log holder, the fireplace log holder, which is laying over there on the floor, all the welds have broke off of it. It's all in about six or eight pieces. I need to clean it up, take it over there, see if I can weld it back together. Which is something else I just haven't got to yet. But, uh... Yeah, let me, uh... take you inside and show you the office real quick. There was a... We decided to put a door up. There was a door down in the basement to divide the office room, or the entertainment room, from the kitchen. But when we moved in, it was off the hinges and downstairs. Well, I took it off. I brought it upstairs and went to hang it. And the house is settled and the door wouldn't fit. So I took the trim off and I tried to uh, pull the shims out and pound the jam back enough to make it work. And well, it, I just couldn't get it. So I ended up trimming. Trimming some of the actual door off. I trimmed this off. I had to trim off the bottom and I also had to trim off the top a little bit. So uh, I got that hung in there. But I actually cut that this piece off just a little bit thicker than I should have. So now I've got a trim board, trim in around it in the back. Let me pause this, we'll go inside and I'll show you the office if it's not too dark. If it's too dark, I might have to do that another day. I've been meaning to do that in the daylight, but I just haven't got it done. So, uh, yeah, let me spin you around here so you should see the rest of the hoard. Long motorcycles, pretty much just like it was sitting the last time you were here, most likely. There's that closet sitting out in the middle of things. Those lawn tractors. 
three wheeler and then just stuff looking for a place to live and uh yeah the extra refrigerator came from mom's we had the deep freeze already but uh yeah we had both refrigerators in the kitchen there for a little while and uh that was just too much so we brought one of them out here yesterday jay helped me and uh which is nice i mean we'll have extra Tubby, what are you chewing on we'll have extra room to put stuff stop it quit chewing on stuff stop it hear him crunching on a rock he's such a goober toughy let's talk about toughy for a minute He's had a couple seizures in the last few weeks. He had two of them. We took him to the vet and uh, same old thing, let's you like before, he says, until he gets to where he's having them at least two a week, they don't want to put him on medication because once you're on the medication, you're on it forever. And right now he's just being a dork, chewing on rocks. Quit it. Give, 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 give. Ah, uh, there's Chloe. Over there. Where is she? Izzy's back in there. She found her little cubby hole. Let's see if I can zoom in on her. There she is. See the top of her head there. <laughs> oh yeah, we've uh, we have found a couple more snakes. We haven't found any in a while now, but even after all those other snakes, there was two more that we found that I never did tell you guys anything about. Anyway, enough of me babbling. Let's go have a look at the office and let you guys see what's going on in there. And that'll pretty much wrap this video up. Alright. Here's what it looks like when you're coming in from the garage. And come into the office. Got the entertainment center over there. All Pat's plants over here. A sofa with some pillows where I can take a nap. See, we've got an extra TV propped up back there just because we're running out of room. Got a coat rack up here. Some laundry. There's my, uh... Entertainment center. That, uh... I had in the office. And what I would do is I would run my stereo from my... From my computer, here's my desk. And it's right here by this plate glass window, which in the daytime is really nice because I can sit here and look out while I'm doing whatever. And uh, here's another one of my guitars. I don't think you guys have ever seen that. Uh, I would run the audio out of the back of my computer over to this stereo and then I would play it back through these huge Fisher speakers which you probably can't see them because they're so big and it would sound awesome but somehow in the move from the old house to this house I lost the left hand channel in that stereo unit and uh, I could still make it work but then when I moved it from the other room into here, I was having a hard time getting it to feed the signal from here to there. So what I ended up doing was I went downstairs in my boxes of stuff. And I know this is all dark and it's probably hard for you to see. But this thing right here is a Kenyo. And what it is, it's a gamer's audio box to hook onto your computer for if you're a gamer and it's got surround sound it's got these four little speakers that look like that 
behind the phone there. But, uh, and it's controlled by this little remote here. You turn it on. And it's got two volume controls, one for the front and one for the back. Each one does two of these little speakers, which I have two, two of them right there and two of them right there, just because keeping it all nice and compact here. Trying that way I can move the whole desk if I wanted to before I got all settled in. But it actually puts out awesome sound louder than you want. And this big one here is a bass unit. It will actually vibrate this whole desk if I'm listening to a Harley rumble or an explosion or something while watching videos. But yeah, that's it. And then there's another bookcase over there behind the door, just like this one. And you can see, I guess, I just got miscellaneous, we just got miscellaneous stuff piled up everywhere. And, uh, so yeah, our, our, needless to say, our lives have been disrupted. And, uh, but, you know, it's going to be okay. It's all for the greater good. And, uh, I just wanted to share with you guys what's, uh, going on with that. And that's why I haven't been making videos, you know. It's just, uh, had my plate full. And, uh, yeah. So you never know what's going to happen next, but I want to get you caught up. So I'm, without making this any longer than it already is, I'm going to say goodnight. You all have a great day. I enjoy watching all your guys' videos. Even if I haven't commented on them, I've been watching them. I have may be a week behind and getting to them. But yeah, I've been there. And uh, and look, now he's over there. He thought she found him. Oh, he's such a goof. <laughs> Alright, so enough is enough. That's uh, that's it for today, guys. I'm getting out of here. Okay, so cheers. Thank you guys for subscribing and sticking with me and hanging out. And I intend to be doing some stuff in the future. I just, I don't have any plans for any special projects. I got some ideas in the back of my head of things I want to do. But until I get things organized and... Uh, get mom settled in here and we see how that affects our lifestyle. I just don't know how what's going to happen. So hang in there and we'll see how it goes. Should be alright. Alright? Alright. Cheers. Y'all take care. Bye bye.